Hey Capricorn, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. I'm um, just see what comes out. My camera, my son broke my little standy thing with Bob or so. Yeah, stuff like that happens. Stuff like that happens. Freaking love it. Anyway, sorry guys. <laughs> I should have just started over, but I'm not. Okay, um, just remember this is a general reading, so take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it doesn't all resonate for you, that's fine. It just means somebody else was needed to hear um, that message. Also, um, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. It helps other people to be able to see my channel also. You have by the book, so I feel like you're doing things step by step, doing things by the rules or having to do things by the rules. This is also an 11 card, so it's like new doors are opening up for you. I'm not taking all that, but it says time for a nap on the bottom. I'll take that. That means you're overstressing, overworking yourself, doing too much, and it's like you need to take a break, okay? It's like you're going through a lot of challenges, a lot of stress and stuff. It's like, you know what? Stop and take a break. Loyal heart um, and serendipity. Okay. I feel like you're starting to live for um, you. You're starting to notice what you really want in life with the loyal heart thing. I think you're starting to love yourself more, um, be more open. More expressive serendipity just tells me happiness like so it's like after all the challenges and everything it's like you need to rest things are gonna happen for you it's gonna make you happy so just like you know what I mean just take that time to rest then it says what do you need to release so you do need to release something okay it could be toxic patterns it could be the way you think negativity you know certain people in your life maybe a job that isn't you know working out anymore people that isn't working out anymore sometimes people fall off our levels and that's only because you know what I mean you know, you can't stay on the lower level because other people sometimes you need to rise up. And when you rise up and other people can't keep up with you, then they fall off. And, you know, it's just, that's just how life is. Then you have um, New Moon and Gemini. Communication is key. So, okay, maybe a conversation is needed right now. And it might have to do with this releasing something. So, it's like maybe you might have to have a conversation with somebody about releasing. And being open and honest, like I said, with the loyal heart, is like speak from your heart, okay? And when you're communicating whatever this is that you're trying to talk to this, whoever this is about, it's like speak from the heart and don't speak out of just being like trying to please other people. It's like, no, say what you honestly feel, say what you honestly think, because you know what I mean? That's the only thing that's really going to get you to where you want to be. A win-win outcome as forecast. And then you have believe in the impossible. So if you feel like, you know... Things are not happening for you or, oh my God, it's always going to be like this. It's never going to be the same. Well, if you think like that, it's probably going to be like that because our thoughts create our reality. You know what I mean? So it's like believe in the impossible, believe in miracles because when you do, that's when we start to see them, okay? You have to believe them in order to see them. If you don't believe them, they'll happen in your face and you'll never even notice them. The Eight of Cups, trying to leave a si uh, situation, mentally walking away. I mean, emotionally. Ooh, two cards. Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Moving, emotionally detaching, um, mentally detaching from something, someone. It could be leaving stress behind, leaving family behind, leaving everything that you've ever worked for behind, the long-term situation behind, okay? It's like you're ready to detach yourself from something. It's like you just want to move on is what I'm hearing. You just want to move on, all right? The magician, it's like you're using all your tools that you have to get yourself out of this situation. The strength card. The strength card and the three of cups. I feel like you might have to make some, you know, uncomfortable decisions, really hard decisions, but it's going to lead you to happiness. It's going to lead to success. So as long as you keep on moving forward, like, yeah, when you leave, it may feel hard. It might hurt. It might be emotional. Or it might be really sad. But it's like, and this is where that strength card comes into play, but it's like with the magician, it's like, you have all the all the tools that you need to do that you need in order to get yourself in and out of any type of situation that you get yourself into, right? And it's like once you leave whatever this is behind, whatever that you're planning on leaving behind, the job, people, friends, family, it's like it's gonna lead you to nothing but happiness. Yeah, you got the nine of cups and the five of cups. There's a lot of cups here, okay? So this is definitely an emotional journey. Very um a lot of love here, okay, that's either, like, getting left or, you know, 
on starting something new. I don't know if you're refreshing a love or if you are just moving or I don't know, right? So we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like your wish is about to be granted. Whatever you're wishing for is about to be granted. But you're also confusing and all, I mean, also worrying about all the things that are not working out for you. It's like you're concentrated on these three cups that's built over instead of turning around and looking at the two things that are behind you that you still have. So it's basically like, yeah, you might lose some things, but it's like you still have other things to be happy for, you know what I mean? And it's like once you realize that, that's one more thing is going to start opening up for you. It's like, you know, don't allow the stress and the sadness um, to take over you because, you know what I mean, nobody wants to live like that, you know, it's not happy, it's not good. Then you have Five of Swords, feeling defeated, okay, other people, you feel like you got to battle with people over things. And maybe this person always wants to win over you, maybe that's why you want to detach yourself. Um, the Emperor, you may be dealing with an Aries, okay? You may be dealing with the Aries, or it's just saying that you need to get this passion back. Maybe you lost your passion, and it's saying, you know what? Take charge, stand in your throne, take your power back, and, and do bold, make bold moves. And, you know, spark that fire inside of you. When I said make bold moves, the Queen of Wands pops out, which is just about that. Making bold moves, being strong, being brave. It's like, yeah, you may be um, really nervous or scared about doing something or walking away from something. But it's like when you do, it's going to lead you to nothing but happiness. This is something that you're wishing for. I do see it's really emotional for you, though. It's very sad, whatever that's going on. And you got two fives, so I feel like there is a lot of challenges right now. But it, um, you are going to overcome them. The Knight of Pentacles this is a long time coming. This is also a card about doing everything that you need to do in order to get the job done. Meticulous work, all right? It's like, you know, going from A all the way to Z. You know what I mean? Don't just go to A to like Z, P, W, whatever, you know, all weird ways. No, it's like you have to, like, you don't miss spots, let me say. It's like you're not trying to, you got, you got to make sure every part is done. Every part is worked on. Every part is communicated because whatever you want to get done is like, you don't want to miss certain pieces. But if you miss certain pieces, it might fall apart. I was, all, while I was talking, I know I was sounding like I was losing my mind real quick, but I was also trying to listen to my kids outside. So that's why, you know. Anyway, you have the Nine of Wands and then the Sun. I feel like you're going from, like, being hurt, feeling like the wounded warrior, always, like, you know, disappointed and nothing ever working out for you from going from that to the Sun. All right? So it's like... From a lot of like darkness to like finally the sun came out again and happy times. So basically I do feel like you guys are leaving something behind. But you do need to communicate. Okay. You need to speak from your heart and let people know what you really honestly feel. If you don't tell them what you feel they're never going to know. So they're not going to be able to please you because they don't know what you want. So it's like the universe wants you to communicate to them. Even though it's really hard it's like find the strength within you to be able to speak from your heart. You know what I mean? And maybe things might work out better for you this way, you know, instead of being sad and, like, holding things in, you know. I do feel like whatever this is might be able to be worked out, but um, communication is key, all right? So that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.